It's kind of creepy. Maybe it just won't grow there anymore. Maybe it's cursed. Maybe that's where all the ghosts are. It's aliens. It's aliens. It's always the UFOs. It is. And the chupacabra. Wow, this is take three. Um, I've never had to do this before. Maybe it is haunted and they just don't want me recording here. Um, I have recorded this twice already and it has not recorded. So, welcome adventurers. This is Natalie with another random adventure with Natalie. We are coming to you from one of the top 10 most haunted places in Riverside County, the Evergreen Cemetery in Riverside. This is the Riverside Mausoleum. Um, it holds many people and in the back they do have a crematorium where they used to um, cremate the bodies that did come in. They also had a room for preparation that um, is in the back. They mostly use it for um, prepping for burial, not necessarily for being seen. So one of the busiest times for this cemetery was during 1918 to 1919 when we had the Spanish Spanish influenza and it is said to have killed up to five men five million people worldwide so this one is somebody who died in 1918 and this person died in 1919 Here's another 1918. So we have a lot of people interned. There we are, here's another one. Jean, 1918. A lot of these were due to the influenza. This is one of the reasons they say that it is haunted because there was so many. So do you think it's haunted? Have you seen ghosts? Do you think ghosts are real? Please let me know in the comments. If there's somewhere else you would like me to visit, please let me know as well. So this is kind of strange. So as you can see, the cemeteries are actually very, very well maintained now. Um, they're being sprinkled or watered now but over in this one section it's dead why would one section be left <laughs> it does this is where the Morrises are buried well not our grandparents but now there is this sign but it just seems strange why would this one section not be maintained? Did we not pay our water bill this month? <laughs> so right back there you can see the chimneys. That is where the crematorium is. And they used to uh, cremate the bodies. And there's a light on in there. I wonder what's going on in there. I know, they, I don't, that's usually dark chimney because it's creepy people smoke people smoke okay so from the 1990s to 2001 the upkeep here was not being maintained properly and the family members of the people interred here were not happy with how it was being taken care of. So they put in a complaint with the government. So they did come in and they did an investigation and when they did investigate um, this facility, they did find that they weren't interring people properly. Uh, I believe I read that they had people in the same grave, um, and when they did the investigation, they found 23 bags of human bones belonging to at least five different people. 23 bags, that is a lot of bones. 
So, if there were really ghosts, or if there are ghosts, I bet they weren't happy about that. Yeah, I've never seen the light on. So we are here. It is dusk. It will be getting dark soon. Um, I don't know how long we are going to stay. We're going to hang out a little bit. I'm going to walk around, see if we see or hear anything. Someone's there. I um, And all the time me and Rob have been here, this is only the second time I've been this is actually where they used to cut the bodies and they would cremate the bodies. Yes. So they don't typically do that here anymore. That's why it's not too much. And up inside is the mausoleum where they keep all the ashes of people. <laughs> oh my god, I'll <laughs> I'm already so, so dirty. Um, some of the things. So thank you guys for uh, joining me in another adventure and I will see you next time. It's haunted. Me personally, as I've discussed before, I don't think it's people that do hauntings. Um, I believe there are demons that will mess with you, but not people. So I am here. I'm not scared to be here. It is getting dark um, and I don't know how much longer we're going to hang out, but if there's anything that shows up, I'll make sure I get it for you. I think that's all I have to say on that. That's all I got to say about that. That's what I got to say about that. Uh.